Hi, this is Uncle Barn, and I am here with my latest project. It's still a work in progress. This is a four-horse monitor made by Baker Manufacturing, Evansville, Wisconsin. I've been restoring this engine for the last year. I am halfway through the restoration. I do have it so that it's a running engine, but still have a lot further to go. Uh, I have this engine in my collection, and that is where I was able to copy the parts for this engine and successfully sandcasted that muffler after a couple attempts. I failed on the first one, I failed on the second one and the third one and I stuck with it, got the muffler made. Then the next challenge was to do the water hopper and made a mold for the water hopper. The original is welded together and I didn't want to cut the original apart or go through the trouble of making a whole sand core. So this is presently taped together with some silicone on it. It is holding some water and I've been taking this to a few shows and showing off my skill in sand casting which I had zero before and I learned it on YouTube. And I wanted to thank my friends that helped me pour this, the other people that were involved in the restoration. Uh, this engine was in tough shape and I'm glad I brought it back to life. Uh, I do have this engine in my collection and I'd like to share a photo with you. This is my dad and that's me sometime about 1972 and my dad's engine in the background there. And Thank my dad for getting me started in uh, the gas engine hobby. I've been doing this pretty strong for the last 10 years. So, now I'm going to start this engine up and I'm going to back start it. The battery box, this is the water hopper, muffler, this is the gas tank, flywheel, there's a weight, that's part of the governor on the hit and miss. And we have a Model T buzz coil and a switch, power things up, we'll roll that ahead and there's a swipe on the cam where it's going to ground and you can hear the buzz coil vibrate and when that's vibrating it is sending spark to that spark plug. I'll go past it, I'm going to put some fuel into the mixer. Turn the fuel on up here, close the petcock, remember that oiler. Put my cover back on. Oh, this is called back starting. I'm creating compression. And that contact on the cam is going to ground out. We're going to have spark to that spark plug. It's going to poof, it's going to start. Voila! That's a lot of fun to start these engines up that way. I'm going to tell you a little story of my first gas engine tractor show that I took this engine to. This engine hooked up to my dad's car, the uh, 31 Model A. I forgot this jack stand back here, and so every time this engine would fire, that car was bouncing around. And I had this cute little grandma, about the eight tall, and she said to me, she goes, Sonny, if that thing wasn't hooked up to that car, I would say that there was some funny business going on in that car. And I tell you, you can't make stuff up like that. That is great. And uh, I'm going to tell you one more thing is that engines are like potato chips. You can't just have one. Thank you very much. Catch you later.